All right, so we're back for some more Danganronpa. Um, as you can see, some shit has happened. Uh, Angie's fucking dead. In her lab. Um, time for another installment of Who's the Killer? So, Angie's got, what, a laceration on her head and a stab wound through the neck? So, something tells me that that golden katana from Yotaka's lab is the murder weapon. So somebody went in there at some point. That's all we have to go off of right now before we investigate, so, like, let's investigate the fucking body, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> we need to take a closer look. Okay. Yes, I was planning to. Got a minute. Then let's hurry up and do it. Can't afford to waste any time here. Maki didn't hesitate. She stepped past me and walked over to the body. She had no problem with dead bodies. She is the ultimate assassin. You know, there's just... I see a hammer back there. There's blood dripping from Angie's head. According to the Monokuma file, she sustained a stab wound to the back of her neck. As well as a laceration on her forehead. I knew it. Killing blow was a single stab to the back of the neck. A sneak attack, most likely. Well. Then what do you make of the wound on her forehead? Maybe the culprit hit her on the head before stabbing her from behind. But. But her two wounds are substantially different. Did the culprit change weapons mid-attack? Oh yeah. I suppose that would be unnecessary. Remember. Also, the wound on her forehead looks deep, but it's not bleeding much. What is going on with these two wounds? All right. Huh? What's wrong, Maki? You got a Move. Maki pushed me aside, then lifted Angie's body up by the shoulder. What's this doing crumpled underneath her body? What is it? This is duct tape, right? What's duct tape doing here? Uh, um... I don't know, but it must be related to the case. Look, their hair stuck to the tape. Long hairs. Angie's, right? <laughs> Bloody duct tape with Angie's hair on it. What could that mean? <clears throat> Bloody duct tape has been added to the truth bullet section. But... I'm surprised you spotted this, Maki. It was hidden underneath your body. Oh, it was partially visible. As a detective, you should have noticed it before I did. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, well, that's true. <sighs> well, even so, I guess you're still getting used to being around dead bodies. So don't beat yourself up over it. Okay. Well then, it's a good thing you're used to corpses, Maki. Do huh? <laughs> Do you want to die? Sorry. Sorry, joking. I couldn't resist. You got a minute? You don't need to apologize. I was joking too. That didn't sound like a joke, though. All right. So I have a feeling this hammer. Really? No. There's a Necronomicon. The charges for the resurrection ritual are written in the Necronomicon. By performing the ritual as written, you can resurrect one deceased victim. I knew it. This was the motive, the Necronomicon. Hey. <clears throat> Angie tried to perform the ritual written in this book, correct? Okay. Yes. If we look at this book, we should learn the steps of the ritual she was trying to perform. Let's take a look. The Necronomicon Resurrection Ritual. Prefer an effigy of the dead soul you wish to contact. Everyone may participate. <clears throat> the size and shape of the effigy is irrelevant. Make it out of whatever materials you wish. If it's not obvious who the effigy is supposed to be, label it with the name of the deceased. After preparing the effigy, burn this Necronomicon to ashes. Or else... Use caution. Be mindful of carbon monoxide poisoning. Sprinkle the ashes of the effigy on the effigy and repeat the name of the deceased three times. Close your eyes and wait. After a while, you should feel a light tap on your back. If so, that means the ritual was a success. The ashes are only good for one use. The ritual can only be performed once, so use it wisely. <laughs> hmm. So these are the steps to the resurrection ritual. Angie really believed in this crap? It's pretty obvious that you would be able to resurrect anyone with this. Under normal circumstances, I, I'm sure that's true. But in this place, I don't think we can rule anything out. Okay. 
that. And we should probably look at this one. Or the katana. A katana. Stabbed into Kaede's wax effigy. Damn it. Who did this and why? Got a minute? Let me see. Maki nudged me aside, then gripped the katana and pulled it out of the effigy. Oh, oh wait, this is a crime scene, you can't. You wanted to check the katana, right? Well, you can't do that if you don't pull it out. Because. Yes, true. We have to preserve the scene. <laughs> Maki made, paid mo no mind to my protest and stared at the katana for a while. Is this? It's a real katana, but there's gold leaf on it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I believe it's the one that was on display in the Ultimate Af Anthropologist Lab. Hmm. hmm, is that so? We can probably assume this is the murder weapon, judging from the blood stains on the tip. The edge is too rusty to cut well, but it would be enough to stab. But, but why would they go through the effort of using this as the murder weapon? That's true. Good question. They could have gone to my lab and grabbed a more suitable weapon. Could it be? Perhaps it's because Kyo's lab is on the same floor. They just grabbed something close by. They may have been in a hurry. Well... Or maybe they needed a long weapon like this. A long weapon. Okay. My lab doesn't contain swords or any other weapons of this length. Huh? Ah, oh, really? That's true. I'm not sure how Monokuma found out, but he must know I don't use swords for work. <sighs> when I first started working, I botched a mission using a katana. I haven't used a sword since, which is fine because they're hassle to carry anyway. I suppose everyone's lab is suited to them personally, just like Angie's was. But... <laughs> But how do they know all this? <coughs> anyway, the gold leaf on this katana flakes off easily. It's all over my hand now. It must be pretty old for the gold leaf to flake off that easily. Got a minute? Why didn't you say so earlier? My hands are all sticky now. I'll have time to wash them later. <laughs> Maki scolded me, then stood in front of the of Kaede's effigy. Hey. I'm gonna put the katana back where we found it. If it's too hard to watch, look away. Uh, okay. Ah, thank you. So that means Angie was stabbed, and then it was thrust into Kaede's wax figure. <clears throat> I averted my gaze, blah, blah, blah. Even so, why was a weapon stabbed into the wax effigy? A hanging wax effigy, no less. Was it part of the ritual, or was the culprit trying to hide the murder weapon? Hmm. Perhaps they had no intention of, wi of hiding it. They didn't wipe off the blood. Besides, I'm certain there are better ways to hide the murder weapon than this. What are you talking about? <clears throat> and what's the reason for this? That's. I honestly have no idea. Well... We should investigate where this weapon came from. We might find a clue there. Okay. The ultimate anthropologist lab? Yeah, let's do that. I want to make sure the katana indeed came from that room. All right. So, guess we might as well look at the other ones. Ropes are dangling from the exposed beams on the ceiling. If I remember correctly, Angie made all these wax figures. <clears throat> Is this rope from the warehouse? You're right. I believe so. That means they won't be much of a clue. Anyone could have gone and gotten those ropes. <sighs> Maybe the student council should have blocked the warehouse instead of the manhole. The warehouse does contain plenty of things that could be used for murder. Anyway, I know these effigies are just wax, but it still creeps me out. <clears throat> That's true. The effigies look exactly like real people. Not just their faces, but the bodies too. The ultimate artist certainly was talented. By the way. By the way, why is this effigy hanging upside down? Is this part of the ritual? Hmm. hmm I'm not sure. What is it? If it's not, then why is it like this? Who would go out of their way to hang a wax effigy? Right. If they're gonna do this much work, there must be some reason for it. What could it be? Who would do this? Culprit? Angie? Or someone else entirely? <clears throat> Is that it? The store's the back the lab's back door. Is this The store's a sliding lock and it's still locked. I see gold leaf on it. That's true. And because no one has used this door since we came in here. 
I believe Angie locked this door when she came in. It's been locked ever since. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, what's this? Look, there's something gold and shiny on the back of the sliding lock. Gold and shiny, could it be? Is that all right? Gold? Maki, may you see it for a minute? I want to try moving the sliding lock. So what? Want to unlock it? Go ahead, do what you want. I carefully touched the knob of the lock, avoiding the gold parts. And softly slid the lock open. Hmm. Okay. Just as I suspected, this lock will slide without much effort. Whether you lock it or unlock it. This could be an important clue. <clears throat> hmm. Art Lab's back door has been added. The thing. Hmm. Well... I'm curious about this rear door, too. But there's something else that bothers me. Lock on the front door that we used to enter this room. Should we investigate the front door, too? I'm going to take a closer look at it. Okay. Maki walked over to the front door. Okay, where's the front door? Oh. Now can I talk to these other fuckers? I just want to confirm something. We got this lab. You're sure that the front door is locked? Okay. Yeah, I'm positive. I grabbed the knob and tried to turn it. Click, 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 click. It was locked. Yep. I knew it. The front entrance was locked until Kokichi picked the lock to open it. Kokichi pin <clears throat> pulled out needles and fucking stuck them in. There, open says me. <clears throat> so he picked the cylinder lock open. You think anyone else could have locked opened the lock besides him? That's true. Would have been impossible from the outside. The Monicums took the key. Yep, they lost the key. Oh, he... Oh, yeah, he swallowed it. Yep. Then... So Kokichi's the only one who could have opened or closed that door from the outside, right? Hmm. Correct. Only Kokichi would have been able to open and close the door from the outside. But someone inside could have opened and closed it as they pleased. <clears throat> so the front door was locked from inside the room. No. Not as not necessarily. I'm just thinking of possibilities. But in that case, the question becomes how the person who locked the doors got out. How the culprit got out of the classroom after locking the doors. Okay. Hmm. hmm. Still. It's strange that the front and back door have different locks. The front door that we came in from has a cylinder lock. And the rear door has a sliding lock. <clears throat> By the time we discovered the body, both doors were locked. Is this... In other words, this is what you might call a locked room mystery, right? Locked, huh? You're right. Yeah, the door was fucking locked. That's why. <clears throat> anyway. Yes, the cylinder lock's key was taken by the Monocobes. So both doors can only be locked from the inside. But only if you rule out Kokichi's lock picking, right? He could have picked the cylinder lock <clears throat> on the front door to go in and out of the lab. So he could have created this locked room mystery. It's possible that he locked the door from the outside by picking it after he killed Angie. If I remember <clears throat> that's true. That's right. Also, he appeared at an oddly convenient time when, he tr when we tried to enter the lab ourselves. He's clearly suspicious. It is suspicious, but that solution seems a little too convenient. <clears throat> Kokichi's lockpicking has been added. Okay, I think maybe, perhaps, we should ask around. A murder at nighttime is strange, impossible even. Why? Why do you think that? Right. The student council made rule that we know can be outside during nighttime. Everyone should have been asleep. No way murder could have happened at nighttime. Ew. You don't think everyone would go along with that rule? But... But it all to his rule. Angie say he punished us if we not follow his rules. But... 
But the student council wasn't included in that, correct? They could do what they wanted. And she was also working here at night. Huh? She was? But No way. Student council would never break own rules. What? They should have been asleep in own rooms to set good example to others. Maybe Angie got attacked while she sleep in her room and then get brought here? Gonta, if only Gonta could have saved her. If only Gonta saw. But Gonta was sleeping. Sorry, Angie. Gonta no could save you. I find it hard to believe that no one went outside in spite of the current student council rule. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's okay to say this right now, but... Could... Tanko be the culprit? Huh? No, Tanko. Uh -huh. Oh, it's not like I have proof or anything, but earlier I heard Himiko say... ...that Tanko was trying to betray the student council. No. So... So you suspect Tanko? Actually... Because, as a member of the student council, she would have been allowed into this lab. Yeah. That's right. Angie did allow members of the student council to enter her lab. Oh. Yeah. Angie had been shut away here working on the ritual by herself since yesterday. She said she would only unlock the door if she heard a student council member's voice. That's true. That would certainly point to Tenko. She did betray the student council after all. No. It's not that I want to suspect Tenko, but since the only student council members would have been led in there. So Angie only led in student council members. <clears throat> so that leads me to believe it's probably one of the student council members. Mm -hmm. Although it's probably going to turn that shit around on me. And be like, ah, nope, it was so-and-so. It was not part of the student council, but who knows. That'll be going to Kibo, Himiko, Tenko, and Sumigi. Of that group, Tenko was certainly the most suspicious. Okay. Me <laughs> This busty, brainy beauty has this all figured out. Huh? You mean you know who the culprit is? I'm the culprit. Fuck that. Hey. Shuichi, do we really have the time to be listening to her? Wait. Hey, wait, wait, goddammit. Are you just gonna ignore my genius idea? <clears throat> Come, just listen to me, okay? Come on, listen to me. Listen. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, if you're gonna twist my arm, then I'll tell you. You better thank me for this. I know y'all are dumber than fleas, but even you get how weird these wax dolls are, right? They are strange. Are they for the ritual or another purpose? Well, then. But I figured out. I figured it out with just one glance. These are diversions. Could it be... Diversions. Listen up. Yep. The culprit used these wax dolls to distract us from something. You got a minute? What do you mean by that? What? How should I know? <laughs> Isn't that Sherlock Holmes shot? <laughs> Sherlock Homo. You're a waste of time. <laughs> Baki turned and walked away. I can't say I blame her. What was that? Huh? The hell's her problem? Is she on the rag or something? Hmm. So Angie made these wax dolls, huh? The resemblance is pretty uncanny. They say the devil's in the details, you know. Let's just see how detailed these really are. Uh, hey! Maybe you try to look up the wax figure's skirt. Hey. What are you doing? Stop that! <clears throat> Uh-oh. What? what? I just wanted to see if this doll was wearing panties. Um, Wait, do you have a doll fetish? Are you excited that your dead girlfriend is a doll now? Ah, fucking virgin. If you like wax dolls so much, then go fuck the doll already. This bitch. I'm starting to agree with Maki. Talking to me is just a waste of time. Why are there so many goddamn ink stains? Is that just from she was working before, or like the fuck? You're not going to tell me this hammer has nothing to do with anything. Oh, pool of blood. <clears throat> a small pool of blood has emanated from Angie's torso. This can't be from her forehead. This blood's from the back of her neck. 
This blood is dry. It must have spilled a few hours before Andy was killed. Maybe more. Huh. That fits the 2 a.m. time of death listening to the Monokuma file. Okay. Angie's body appears to be exactly as described in the Monokuma file. There were several clues that caught my attention, but I can't draw any conclusions yet. If we think about all the evidence in combination, that might tell us something. Let's continue the investigation for now. Maki, uh, um, what's wrong? So what? It's not that important, but... The only time you're reliable is when you're investigating a crime scene. Hmm. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Like I'd know. Who knows? You're certainly more reliable than Kaito, at least. That guy's useless. Anyway, let's continue. I think we finished investigating everything for now. Got a minute? Is this really the time for rest? I don't think we've found enough clues yet. We don't know how much time we have left to investigate, so we need to hurry up. Right. Ah, you're right. First, we should investigate the Ultimate Anthropologist Lab. We may find a clue related to the katana. That's true. We need to check if the katana really did come from that place. Hmm. Something wrong, Maki? By the way. It just occurred to me. Why am I acting like your partner? Sure, whatever. No, it's fine. Just don't get used to it. It's not as if I asked you, but it's fine by me. <clears throat> it's true that Maki is a tremendous help to me. Yes, okay, cool. Let's go to Kyo's lab. If I remember correctly, the gold leaf katana is from right here. Yep. It's just the sheath. Earlier, the katana was inside the sheath. Okay. Maki, the gold leaf katana definitely came from here. I'm certain of it. That's true. Doesn't that make Kyo suspicious? This is his research lab after all. No. Not necessarily. Anyone could have come in here and taken it. That's true. Fair enough. Anyone could have done the same with my lab, too. Alright. Oh, hello. Oh? No? What are you guys doing here? Ew. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be helping with the seance? <laughs> hmm. You look so disgusted right now. Then again, I guess that is your signature look. Anyway. Anyway, I forgot to bring something we need for the seance, so I came back to get it. Something for the seance. Yeah. Yeah, that white sheet over there. Hmm. We bought the we brought the wooden dog statue in the cage already, but I guess we need that sheet too. What is it? I don't get it. Why do you guys need a cage, a wooden dog statue, and a white sheet? <laughs> hey, don't ask me. I don't know why we need that stuff either. Stuff either. That means... That's why I figured I'd do a little research on the seance before I got the sheet. Howdy. So, let's see. Okichi took a look around and... I heard it was like some old handmade book. Oh, is this it? Yeah. Yep, it says Cage Dog Village right here on the cover, so this must be it. Let's see. What does it say about the Cage Child Seance? Okichi flipped through the old book he picked up. Oh, is it this page? It's hard to read, but I can see the Cage Child is mentioned here. Okay. Yeah. Kyo's drawing is the same magic circle as the one in the picture. Um, okay, let's see. In order for, to perform the caged child, you need five people, including the spirit medium, and a dark place with no light. If I remember correctly. It's like Kyo said. First, draw the magic circle passed down from the caged dog village onto the ground. In the center of the circle, the spirit medium must kneel, curl like a turtle, and rest their forehead on a stone on the ground. Afterward, the other four participants must put the iron cage over the spirit medium and cover it with a white sheet. Finally, the dog god must be placed on top of the cage. I see. Dog god. Also, it says we can't step on the magic circle during the preparations, or else you'll fucking die. Uh, um... The dog god? Do you mean the wooden dog statue? Yeah. When preparations are complete, turn out all the lights to create complete darkness. The seance will begin when the four participants are standing, are each standing at a corner of the room. The four participants, in, not including the spirit medium, will sing the caged child song. 
After the song, ask, is the cage child? Then say the name of the spirit. The spirit medium will reply in the voice of the summoned spirit, and that's all it says. Hmm. So, that sounds complicated. But... Complicated plans have a better chance of working out in the end, wouldn't you say? Hmm. Hmm. Whether it works or not, Kyo's been wanting to conduct the seance for a while. Possible motive? Hmm. Because Kyo's got no bitches? Since I was fortunate enough to obtain one of these copies, I've already memorized it. I never thought I'd be able to lay eyes on the real one. What a trick of fate. Right? Kyo really looks like a woman. Just... Just does. Oh yeah, he said he memorized every word of it too. That's probably why he left the book here. Because he can conduct the seance without it. But... But is it even possible? Contacting Angie's ghost? <laughs> hmm. You're so curious, why do you why don't you join us, Shuichi? Huh? Well, you, know. you should see how it plays out with your own eyes. See? There's still time, you know. The seance hasn't even started yet. That's true. Maybe it's better if you join them. Huh? I think so. <clears throat> I don't understand. Well, I'm not going. I don't believe in seances. <sighs> Whether you believe it or not, as a detective you should be there to observe what happens. It's a detective, huh? Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> hmm. Now you're talking. All right. Well, I'll be waiting for you. Of the three empty rooms, we're in the middle one. All right. Well, Kokiji spoke as if he was inviting me to go play, then left the room. Okay. Well, we're gonna go to the middle room then. Of the creepy fucking rooms. Mm-hmm. Hello. So, Kokichi tells me you wish to participate in the seance as well, Shuichi. You are most welcome to join us. Oh. Is what I would like to say. However, only five, including the spiritual medium, may join. Oh man, oh, man what a shame. Well, Keyboy, you're out. Ah, why me? Hmm. I agree with Kokichi. I was thinking this for a while. Robots and seances don't mix. They're like toothpaste and orange juice. You Fucking see. hell. To be honest, I had the same thought. Your help is appreciated, Kibo. Why you? D don't any of you feel guilty for kicking me out after forcing me to come? That's why we're apologizing. No one's apologized yet. Oh, fine, fine, our bad. Just don't get mad and start shooting electromagnetic waves at us. Rude. Why would I do that? Stop whining, Kibo. I'm gonna start the seance as soon as possible. Fine. But I won't forget this betrayal, Shuichi. <laughs> I mean... He's not even human! Does that e d Does he even count? Fuck it. What did I do? Oh, well, okay. I'm part of the ritual now, I guess. So now Shuichi has joined us. First, some warnings. Okay. Do not enter the magic circle that I've drawn on the floor. It is drawn with purifying salt, so it is easily disturbed when stepped upon. Um, you drew this magic circle with salt? That's correct. I always use salt for magic circles. It makes seances more likely to succeed. Well then. Also, it's dark in here, so be sure to watch your step. If the magic circle is broken, not only will the seance fail, Terrifying. but it may also unleash a curse. Uh, okay. Got it. I'll be careful. I'm surprised you're able to draw this without even looking at the picture. Do not work. I have the entire document memorized, so this magic circle should be perfect. Of course, I also have the Caged Child song memorized. You must do the same. Do you understand? I've copied the words to the song down here. Please commit it to memory. I have a sus suspicious feeling that I might need to remember it myself, so I'm gonna do a little... I'm gonna do a little, uh, trolling here. Huh? We have to memorize the lyrics now? Oh. You're a detective, so I s expect your memory to be up to the task. Here's the melody. Oh, 
I listened to Keo sing the song and did my best to memorize the melody and lyrics. Okay. Alright, I think I've got it now. Your memory is extraordinary. You are indeed the ultimate detective. Well then. Let us begin the ritual right away. How exciting! Yay! We finally get to see Angie! So then. Before that, let us choose a spiritual medium. It would work best with a girl. And I'll do it. I can't think of anyone but me that Angie's spirit should go in. No. No, I'll do it. Because if you're the spirit medium, you won't be able to talk to Angie. Eh? Mm -hmm. Eh? That's right. You want to talk to Angie, right? Then I'll be the spirit medium. That way, you can say goodbye to her. And after you finish saying your goodbyes, keep your chin up and live life facing forward. Survive with me and everyone else. Please. Please. Tenko. Stop trying to humanize her for me. She's a fucking rotten bitch. By the way. <clears throat> rotten mis misandric bitch. Let me say this one thing. Expressing your feelings is perfectly natural. You shouldn't feel ashamed at all. So if you feel like crying while you're talking to Angie, go ahead and cry your eyes out. You'll feel better when you do. Oh, well, I mean, laughing makes you feel better, too. Damn it! And venting your anger onto something can really cheer you up. Yes! Train your heart by crying, laughing, and venting your anger, Himiko. Yeah. I think you've trained too much. <laughs> nah, you're probably right. It seems like the two of them made up. That's good. So then... Seems like the two of them made out! So now that we've decided... Wow. There's not a comma there. So now that we've decided on a spiritual medium, let us begin. Yes. Alright, Himiko. I'll see you later. Okay. Here we go. Now, I would like the spirit medium, Tenko, to sit within the center circle. Please be sure to walk on the path, so as not to disturb the magic circle. Hmm. We do not want to incur some full metal alchemist bullshit. We don't want you to be the Iron Giant for the rest of your life. Next, you must be as a turtle within that circle. Please rest your forehead upon this stone marker I've placed here. It's just a stone I brought from the courtyard. Are you sure it'll work? It's because Tenko's head is full of a box of rocks. Certainly. It is merely needed as a marker for her forehead to rest upon. Um, like this? Bruh. This may be uncomfortable, but please endure it until the seance is complete. Whatever you do, this is gonna go you very wrong. Your head or change positions. Piece of cake. I have five star flexibility. Oh, I'm sure you do. So then. Starting now, the rest of us must go to work. There are many things left to be done. Let's see. First, we must place this iron cage atop Tenko. I shall leave that to Shuichi and Kokichi. And, uh, and please keep in mind, walk carefully so do not disturb the magic circle. Yeah. Okay, you can count on me. I may not look like it, but I'm actually super duper strong. Here we go. I shouldn't have lied. I'm way too weak for this kind of stuff. It's made of iron. No wonder it's heavy. Hold on! Don't just drop it on top of me! Do it. Drop it on her head and fucking kill her. I know. It wouldn't be very funny if a body discovery announcement happened during this. Please don't jinx us! <sighs> I'm tired. So, next, we cover the basket with a white cloth, right? I shall take that role. Oh. All right. Everything is prepared. Tenko, how are you doing? Well... I can only see the floor from this position, but I think I'm fine. Hmm. The final step is to place the wooden statue of the dog god atop the cage. How is this gonna go? Something is gonna go very fucking wrong. The statue is quite heavy. Even with four people, it's still really heavy. Jesus. Oh, holy crap, this weighs a ton! Probably does. No. It is not much more than 175 pounds. That's so heavy! 
Oh, with four people, maybe not. I'm totally wiped. Ah, yeah. I could have used my magic to carry it easily, but seances and magic don't mix. Are you sure it's okay to put something so heavy on top of the cage? The iron cage. It <laughs> just falls through the fucking cage and kills Tenko. So I can hold this okay. I guess that's fine then. <laughs> <laughs> now, let us exit the magic circle. Take care to avoid disturbing. Mm -hmm. So then. This is the point of no return, Tenko. After this point, you mustn't speak. If she's fucking dead after this, oh my god. It, the next time you open your mouth, it will be Angie speaking through you. Got it. Understood. I will not say a word until the seance is over. Okay, everyone. I'll see you guys after the seance. Well then. The rest of us shall move to the corners of the room. Please go to one of your choosing. You stood in a different corner. Now we darken the room. Kokichi and Shuichi are closest to the candles. Please blow out the candles. You should be able to follow the walls in the dark. So go back to the corner of the room after it's dark. Okay, got it. You needn't move, Himiko. There are many gaps in the floor near you. Yeah, got it. Once the room is dark, I will begin the song. Please sing along with me. Then, I will call out to Angie. Until she replies, there must be silence. After the seance is done, Shuichi and I are supposed to light the candles again, right? Correct. I brought matches from the warehouse, so please use those. There's a waiting for something to go wrong. Then I'll blow out the candle now. I walked up to the closest candle and blew out the flame. There it goes. Now it's fucking dark. The room instantly fell into complete darkness. Pitch black darkness. So dark, I couldn't even see my own body. Overcoming my instinctual fear of the dark, I moved along the wall back to my corner. Then began the singing. At last, at last, at long last. Heo led us on the cage child song. Young are dumb and little lost girl Sealed within an iron cage At mountain's bottom Within the darkness At last, at last, at long last how many will there be by dawn? Will there be two or just one? Uh oh. Will the guard dog be running far away? Say, it's the cage child, Angie Yonaga. Say, no. Say, are you serious? No. <laughs> oh no. What's the matter? Hold on. Mm. Um. Let's see. Let's light the candles huh? briefly. What? Is that okay? Just for now. I managed to strike a match and she's fucking dead. And Tenko's dead! Tenko's dead! There's blood! Tenko's fucking dead. Hey, what's going on? Did it really fail? It cannot be. Th that shouldn't be the case. The seance is perfect. Is Angie not coming? Is that still Tenko in there? Hmm. 
Enko. I see, yes. Ah, I told her that she mustn't speak until the spirit enters her. <laughs> mm. She follows orders well. But how about we let her out for now? Hold on. Wait, dark arts such as this need to be started and completed the same way. Those who remove objects from the magic circle must be the same who brought them in. If not, the spirit may stay in the medium's body. Man. Seeing as how this was a failure, I don't think any spirit is sticking around, but whatever. Tanko's fucking dead. <laughs> she is dead. I saw the blood stain. Now, I will remove the sheet. Something is amiss! Yeah. Ibiko ran toward the cage as a, at a sprint. Uh. Ibiko, I told you not to step on the... But she wasn't listening. She jumped onto the cage and... Dangle. Yo, by desperation, Himiko grabbed the cage, lifted up, and... I knew some shit was gonna go wrong. <laughs> oh no! Oh, the pattern continues. It's a double kill on the th on the third case. <laughs> really? Who, who would have thought there would be another victim during the investigation? Maybe Monopoly's Green Pew was predicting the tragedy. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, the pew's color's normal now. I guess I was predicting this. Wow. Jesus. Oh, well, thank God Tenko's fucking gone, finally. But fuck. So that makes me... Th I, I I don't fucking know. <laughs> what? <laughs> Tenko was seriously... <laughs> What is this? How did this happen? How did this happen? Tenko, Gonta so sorry. Gonta no could protect you. Shuichi, explain the shit- the, the shit you ate. Yeah, it's a shit you ate, all right. I thought you were conducting the seance. What happened? Well, that's... I don't know. What's happening? <laughs> Bruh. What on earth? I'm surprised too! I never thought a murder would happen during an investigation. Um, um, I guess for now, you should maybe start the investigation right away. Say. Before that, I would like to confirm something. Culprit who killed Angie may be a different culprit from the one who killed Tenko, yes? Huh? huh? If so. What happens in the event that there are two murders by two people? What if there are two black and... Will we need to find them both at the class trial? That's right. Now that you mention it, that's a good point. What would happen in that scenario? Yeah. Hmm? What would happen? Monaghan, what would happen? Um, what, what would happen? Not Why do you look lost too, Monaghan? I thought you were gonna run things instead of Daddy. I, I never expected something like this to happen. I, I don't know what to do. Really, I don't know. No. Oh man, they're all disorganized. If you can't decide the, cast, the class trial's objective, then we don't know what to investigate. Bye. Father always knows what to do. We should ask him for help. No He's in no condition to help us. Is it, can he just become unbalded, please? There's got to be only one, right? It's got to be one murder. Because in the first game, there was only one murderer. It was, um, Celeste. Uh, it's all our fault Daddy ended up like that. Huh? It's all your fault, Monopoly. Daddy, help! We don't know what to do on our own! We gotta use the power of love! That ought to snap him back to normal. Th that won't work. Father's just an empty shell now. That's right! That's not true! Anything is possible with the power of love! You don't understand that, because you've never been loved before, Monodem. Bruh. Daddy, I love you, so please go back to normal. I want to see you, Father. I love you with all my heart. Love you. Aw, you're making me blush. Here he comes. Oh, he's back. Oh. Here I am. 
I'm back! Were you good while I was away? Don't stop making out with your children, Tom Brady. I need to fucking uninstall this game. <clears throat> no, no. Oh, man, that vacation was just what I needed. It's important to take time off to relax. Normally, most companies won't even let you take time off to go on vacation. But I was able to do it. The secret is just to leave whatever you've got. <laughs> just to leave whether you get permission or not. Huh? So, wait, so then who's this Baldy then? Yeah. Oh, just a part-timer I got to cover me while I was gone. Hey. Here's your pay like we agreed on. Now take it and get out of here! Huh? I thought you were supposed to be relaxed. <laughs> now that that nuisance is out of the way, what are you guys talking about again? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Why must your votes if there are two blackened candidates? Well... I have an answer for that. It's first come, first serve. Huh? First come, first serve. Hey, um... The black and new killed the first victim to be discovered will be your target. In other words... If the black and new killed Angie isn't the same one who killed Tenko, then only Angie's killer will be considered the black and. <laughs> Basically, Tenko's killer is wasted a kill, and Tenko herself is a waste of a victim. Then. Oh, well, I'll add this to the school regulations so you can review it later. I also updated the Monokuma file. Do your best to investigate this murder, too! Oh my god. Father! Boy, everything is going so smoothly now that Father's running things again. Leaders gotta be able to take decisive action. Indecision's just the worst. Daddy! Daddy, you're glowing. You're glowing like a lamp. There's nothing better. Oh, shit. There's nothing better than being praised by my cute cubs! There's nothing better than spending time with my cute cubs! For as long as you live, I will never let any of you go! Goodbye. He just left us behind him while he was saying he'd never let us go! How nice! That's why he's so amazing. Please look- Oh, okay, I'm not saying that. Um, so to make sense of all that, closely. if both murders have different culprits, the more vote will determine Angie's killer. Nope. But, but we don't even know if there's a different culprit, do we? Let's see. True. Then we should investigate Tenko's death as well, just in case. How exciting! Aha! Uh -huh. Finally, things are heating up. I'm getting so excited. Shit. God, you fucking psycho! Chuichi. Chuichi, this is bad. Huh? Huh? This is unquestionably bad. I can't believe Tenko was killed. Everyone's upset and confused, and I'm in no shape to help right now. But you know. So, this is where you need to step up. Listen up. Listen, Shuichi. The impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. Uh, okay. Yeah. Alright, All right, then let's check the Monokuma file first. The victim is Tenko Chashibara. Chabashira. The ultimate Aikido master. The body was found in the middle of the empty room on the fourth floor. The time of death is approximately 11 a.m. The only visible injury. Oh, she got stabbed too. Hmm. A stab wound on her neck. The same as Angie's cause of death. Hmm. It doesn't sound like a coincidence. Maybe it's Angie's curse. Oh. Curse? Jeez. God, not again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Curse! Bruh. Kaido, calm down. Jesus Christ. No way there's a curse! Don't screw around! You're the one who's screwing around. Do you wanna die? <laughs> oh! A 
dull sound reverberated through the room. <laughs> no. Are you okay? Kaito, are you okay? My bad. My bad, Shuichi. I'm starting to feel bad, but for a different reason. I'm gonna get some fresh air, so I'll leave this to you and Maki roll. Kaito left the room, still a bit wobbly. Is he gonna die too? Um. Um, should we res resume the investigation? Time is of the essence. That's correct. True. We haven't time to mourn Tenko's death, as our own lives are at risk. This is... That's true, but Angie and then Tenko? <laughs> I to think earlier, I was suspicious of Tenko. I'm sorry, Tenko. How can this be? It's all Gonta's fault. Gonta failed to protect friends again. Tenko's death caught us all off guard. Everyone's panicking. I have to keep it together. I have to work harder. Because I'm a detective. Well, it's too dark in here. We can't investigate, even if we wanted to. Got it. Go to bring candles from other room to make this room bright, okay? No. No, that won't be necessary. Ah. Yeah, that's not necessary at all. Huh? huh? Why? Show him, Kibo. Show him your new power. New power. The gorgeous girl genius have installed a new function in Kibo. Oh, that's great. I'll just leave it to me. I will become the guiding light that shines on you all. Shine on, shine on! Shine on, you crazy fucking diamond! Jojo reference. Man, what a lame function. You should have made him like a transformer or something. But it's bright now, so we should create an investigate. Yeah, you're right. Okay, well, shit. 